there, welcome to my channel. This is Vanessa DeBerlay, and on my channel, you will learn about affiliate marketing and other online businesses that you might be able to start and eventually create a passive income. That's what we all wanna strive for, right? I don't care if you're 20, if you're 50, it's not too young, you're not too old. Anybody can earn an income online. What I wanna talk about today is virtual assistants. Um, you see that word or those initials a lot, VA, that's for virtual assistant. And yesterday I did a video about what is a virtual assistant. And as I was doing my research, I thought, wow, this is a great way for people to make money. So that's what yesterday's video is about. So if you're looking for a way to make money, I have the link below how to make money as a virtual assistant. So make sure you watch that. Now this is important too. If you're building your business and your business starts getting bigger, then you're gonna find you need to hire a virtual assistant. And you might think, well, I know how to do everything. I know how to, every part of my business, I'm very good at it and I do it all. But let me ask you a question. How many hours a day are you spending on that computer? How many hours are you avoiding your family? You don't mean to, you're having fun, you have a passion and you're doing this for your family, but you might find that you're on the computer 16, 20 hours a day sometimes if you're really driven and you don't have to be. If you think about it, any big business out there that one person thought of it, but they're not doing it all themselves. I mean, even as simple as building a house, typically the contractor comes in and he has an electrician help and then a plumber and then the tile there. Think about it, the list goes on and on. And he brings in all the experts to help get that job accomplished. Can a person do it all themselves? Absolutely. But do you want that house built in two months or do you want it built in two years? And that's the difference. So start thinking about that. How fast do you want your business to grow? And you don't have to spend a lot of money. You just start gradually finding things that you can hire somebody to help you with. For instance, my very first thing uh, that I hired out was for somebody to make the graphics on my eBooks. I had a, a little PDF that I was sending out. It had tips on it. And I did not enjoy even looking for pictures and doing all the graphics and all that on the front. And for $7, I found I was very lucky. I found this guy. He was out of India, actually, and he made it for me. So actually, he's my go-to person now. If I ever need those things developed, I have somebody that I found that did a good job. Now, I also hired somebody else to write up a document for me, and I was not happy with it. They did it well enough that I went ahead, paid it, we're done. Um, you know, you got to get to the point where they're only going to be as good as they are, and they're on my don't hire again list. So that's part of it. No matter what business you know you're hiring people to fix your car sometimes they do a good job sometimes they don't so don't ever hire somebody right off the bat and pay a thousand two thousand dollars that you don't have and hope that you get the results now if you have that kind of money that you can take that chance on on a higher skill level absolutely but we're i'm talking to those of you that are probably trying to do it all yourself I have a list of 10 things that you could outsource and possibly hire somebody for it that maybe you didn't even think about. Number one is bookkeeping. You have your own business and you need to keep track of all the expenses that you're spending to keep that business going. Please do not wait till April 14th to collect all that information then try to do your taxes or, or take it to somebody else. That is very irresponsible. You need to be keeping track of all of that throughout the year. <clears throat> you might say, well, I don't even know what to keep track of, then hire somebody. Look online, find a virtual assistant, somebody who's good at that. There's probably somebody else sitting in their own home like you are, and they created a business to help people with their bookkeeping because they're so good at it. They're not a tax person, they're not working at H&R Block or anything, but it's something that they're good at and that they can help provide that service for you. And that's what's so cool about the virtual assistant industry. Number two, customer service. I have a pet peeve on this one. If you've grown so big, or maybe you just don't have the time, maybe you just don't like to do it, but if people are emailing you in your email list, you've got your marketing list set up, and you've got your automated um, messenger bot set up, and people will still ask you questions, and they don't always want an automated answer, especially in messenger bot. Um, I've had a couple people that I keep getting the same response and I try to ask a question and it's actually a little annoying. And it tells me that you're not even paying attention to the people that are spending money on your courses. So I kind of put them on my list of don't buy another course from, I don't care how good it is. Customer service is important. You're still working with people and don't take that human element out of your business. But if you don't like doing that, or if you don't have the time, hire a virtual assistant. 
you can have them check your your emails and your messenger bot once a day or, or maybe 30 minutes in the morning 30 minutes at night as long as you get back to people within 24 hours i think that's reasonable but hire somebody that wants to sit at home and check your emails and your messenger bots for you you're helping somebody have a job think of it that way number three you might not have thought of this one but what about research it takes when you're built providing content i find that the more content that i provide and i hope that you're finding my content valuable today but i have found the more that i'm doing it all day long i'll say oh that's a good video that's a good video that's something important that people will want to know in their in their business but in the beginning i was like oh my gosh what am i going to do so you might find yourself needing to research and maybe that's not something you enjoy doing so hire somebody you might just say hey this is the niche that I'm in. These are the, this is the type of content that I want to provide. Could you come up with 50 different titles for me? Even if they come up with the titles and maybe provide some of the articles, you can say, Hey, and they, they might come back and say, yes, I can do that. And it might take me five hours and I'm going to charge you this much for the job, or I don't know how long it'll take. Let's do it hourly. You, you work it out between you and then they will provide your research. How about database entry? Now you might think, well, what kind of database do I have to keep track of? I find myself more and more and more as I'm creating content or as I'm creating different funnels for my business, different social platforms. I mean, it becomes complicated and all of that stuff I have on Google docs in my Google drive, just in case my computer crashes. And you may find that that's something you don't like to do to keep track of that stuff. So hire somebody. I put it under data entry, but it could be something else. It could even go under organizing. And we'll talk about that in just a moment. What about number five, providing, um, building your webinar or your PowerPoints. Some people like to use PowerPoints when they do a YouTube video and they don't like building them though, but it helps them. I know for me, when I first started doing YouTube, I preferred to have that PowerPoint in front of me. That's the teacher in me. I felt like I had to have that to follow, but, um, I don't mind building my own, but some people don't want to do that. Or maybe they are to the point where it's something that they can outsource. Webinar um, PowerPoints are huge. They're like 90 slides. So that might be something that you could let an expert do for you and make sure it's very professional and something that people will look at and, and see you as an expert. Number seven is scheduling. Now I'm going to go different directions in this scheduling. What does that mean? Well, you can hire somebody to schedule your social media posts. Maybe you're on four different platforms and they recommend that you're not on a lot of platforms as a, a main source. Like my main platform is YouTube and Instagram and I'm starting to build my Pinterest, but it's slow. I just do it kind of in my spare time on the side, but let's say I want to build it and get it out there. Now I could hire somebody and say, Hey, these are all the different boards that I want to create. Can you just get this up and, and give it some credibility so that it looks like it's been there for a while and you can hire somebody to do that. Now here's the problem. You got to be posting on all these platforms. You can use a, a, a website like post planner i've talked about that before in another video but you can hire somebody else to watch your post planner and post on that for you so that is a great way to hire. that's a great thing to hire somebody for the other one is let's say you've really gotten big and you're going out and doing speaking engagements hire somebody to um, set up your travel your airplane tickets your hotel all that and and just let them do it and you don't have to worry about it number eight Again, I'm going to talk about social media, but what if you're looking for an expert in one area? Now I just shared with you about Pinterest, but LinkedIn's another one. I wouldn't know where to begin on setting up a platform on LinkedIn. I went in there and I looked around. I hear people say it's a great platform to promote your, your um, content, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. Yes, I can look up videos. I can see what other people are saying, but that sometimes holds you back for like a week or two trying to learn how to do something and then getting it set up. And that's all those hours that you could have been spending providing content, uh, engaging with people in your Facebook group and doing those things that are going to make you money. This is something that you can have somebody else do outsource it to a virtual system. What about a search engine optimization expert? Some of us are really good at providing that content, but we don't know how to get it out there. We don't know what keywords to use or what tags and all that stuff. Again, you can learn, but why don't you just hire an expert to do it for you? The last one is video or podcast. 
Um, if you want your videos to be really, really professional, unlike mine, I just do my own video, obviously, but I could hire someone to come in and take my videos and make them professional and do all that, you know, all the, all the neat things on it. And I could hire them to come in and do that. I could also start a podcast where maybe I just video uh, do the audio and then hand it over to somebody. And then they can set up my whole podcast system. Those people are out there. Now, again, it depends on what you want done, how much money you're willing to spend and where you're at with your business. Now, where do you look for these people? That's the question. Three different places that I can think of right off the, right off the top of my head would be upwork.com, upwork.com. You go in there and you just tell them what you're looking for and then people will come to you and say, hey, I'd like that job. Here's what I can offer for you. Here's some of the work that I've done so that you can see how credible I am. And you can, people will go in there and we'll do things for as, as little as $8 an hour, all the way up to 40 and 50. It depends on what level of expertise you're looking for. I sometimes don't mind giving somebody a chance that's just starting out because everybody has to start somewhere. Just don't be angry. It, don't expect this um, extreme expertise from somebody if they're charging $8 um, and, and then you want a $50 job. Just remember that when you hire people. Um, another one is freelancer.com. You can go in there and look for people. Um, there's another one, rolodex.com. And here's another way that you can find virtual assistants, which I think is kind of cool, is go into different Facebook groups. There are Facebook groups out there that are specifically set up for virtual assistants, and they encourage virtual assistants to come in and post that they are looking for people to you know to hire them and there's other people that come in that are looking to hire so i think that's a pretty cool setup and you may even come up with a little test you might say hey i'm looking for somebody to update my videos and and you're you know in the back of your mind you're going to be spending some money to do that so you want to make sure you don't waste your money so maybe you can have them answer some questions and maybe give an example of some of their work and ask for that maybe have them fill out some kind of a google doc like they're to fill out an application maybe you could even have a little contest for them and have some kind of a prize you know i'll give you an extra hundred dollars if i hire you but you have to go through this contest process. At least then you're going to get people who are really serious and really want to work with you. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please give me a thumbs up. If you can think of other jobs to outsource, maybe you're already outsourcing, go ahead and put those in the comments and you can help other people when they come to watch the video. And definitely subscribe to my channel. I will provide you with value in the affiliate marketing industry and online marketing so that you can help. I can provide you with tips to help you with your business or help you get started. All right. Hopefully again, that was helpful. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.